families and supporters cheer as the World Autism Awareness Day flag rises up City Hall. It's the 11th annual worldwide event. Rhonda Tuff's son, Wyatt, is on the autism spectrum. She wants to break the stigma surrounding autism. I think this day is a very important day, not just for as a parent, but for Wyatt himself. I think just bringing awareness is the key. We often say in our family that, you know, it's not about people not doing the right thing or being mean, it's just about awareness and educating people. Experts say parents are discouraged by the level of care the province has been providing in the past. The head of an Ottawa-based care and learning centre says that for the past three years, the province has been getting it all wrong. To minimize the amount of kids that are being put on the wait list for public care, they've been offering money to parents to put their kids in private care. The Ontario Liberals gave $62 million for the Ontario Autism Program this year. The program offers services for children and youth living with developmental challenges. Kimberly Wera works with Ottawa's Chapter of Autism Ontario. Um, there aren't enough recreational programs and services for children on the spectrum. We do have some and we're working on it and hopefully that's improving. Um, but that's another area where children need to be included and so that's what Autism Ontario tries to do is to provide programs and services for those individuals. We always say it takes a village to raise a family and we definitely rely on our village every single day and we have a great connection with our school and so you know they call us if there's an issue. The changes to the Ontario Autism Program came into effect on April 1st. Levi Garber, CJTV News, Ottawa.